Hello and welcome to this edition of Eat Right with Rouses. I'm your host, Keith Weissack. Thanks so much for joining us as we welcome in our favorite dietitian, April Sins. Hey, April. Hi, Keith. How are you today? I am doing great. And I love the fact that, look, peanut butter is kind of a staple for a lot of people, but you've got yeah. the three C's of peanut butter today, which I'm really <laughs> looking forward to. And I love how That's creative right. you get with some of these ideas, especially with peanut butter. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, the three C's. So that's creamy, chunky, and comfy. Yeah. So those, that's the theme of peanut butter. And okay. if there's one staple that most people grew up with that remains affordable, craveable, and, and a comfort food, that's peanut butter. It is. I mean, I, I mean, it just comes right to mind. And so this shelf-stable wonder is very versatile. And you could combine it with so many things, whether it's sweet, whether it's savory, it kind of goes with everything. And so I'm excited because I get to t talk about peanut butter today, one of my favorites, right. and show you a couple of recipes. Okay. But I have a couple of fun facts about peanut butter. This, okay. is, this is really fun because you get to think about, does it apply to, to you or somebody you know? Okay. So peanut butter accounts for 60% of the U.S. peanut butter production. Okay. And here's a fun fact. 94% of American homes have at least one jar of peanut butter in the pantry. I know I do. <laughs> some of us have all the and different then, types of peanut butter in the pantry. Exactly. Right? <laughs> right. Exactly. And then, um, and then tell me if this applies to you. So okay. women and children prefer creamy peanut butter. These are based on surveys. While men prefer the chunky peanut butter. And then also people on the West Coast, like in California area, prefer the chunkier peanut butter, whereas the East Coast prefers the creamy peanut butter. <laughs> We're a little different in my house. My wife likes everything with more in it. So she's a little bit more West Coast chunky. I'm a little bit uh -huh. more East Coast creamy. There you go. Okay, yeah. I know it's fun. Fun to maybe take a survey of everybody in your household. Yeah. What's your favorite? <laughs> so that I thought that was some really fun little facts from yeah. um, some surveys that like from it. the National Peanut Butter Board. But okay. um, what I want to share with you is two recipes. One is sweet. We're gonna make a mug cake, peanut butter brownie mug cake. Wow. Mm. Okay. <laughs> and then the <laughs> other one is gonna. I know. And then the other one we're gonna make a sweet potato dish where we're gonna make a dipping sauce to dip our sweet potato French fries in. So oh two okay. really amazing recipes Sounds from like the it. National Peanut Butter Board. All so right. what I'm gonna do is I have my mug right here. So very simple. I'm gonna grab some of my cocoa mix, just okay. your traditional cocoa mix as if you're gonna fix a cup of cocoa. You're gonna take three tablespoons of that. You're gonna put that in a cup, okay? I know it looks like I'm grabbing more, I just didn't get enough. Mm. We're gonna yeah. put that in a cup. Right. We're gonna take, two tablespoons of peanut butter. We're gonna okay. put that right in there. We are going to take, and I have the smooth peanut butter, but if you prefer the, the uh, chunky peanut butter, you can definitely use that. I'm and then I have three tablespoons of flour, okay? okay? So that's what's gonna kind of create our base for that brownie. And then we're gonna put in three tablespoons of milk. So okay. this is like an individual cup. So that's why it's only like a few tablespoons here and there. Okay. And then the other thing we're going to add is a few chocolate chip morsels. And you could use a no added sugar chocolate chips if you want, like I have, right. or you can use regular. Okay. You're going to mix this up, put this in your microwave. It only takes 90 seconds or less. I think less than 90 seconds would kind of give it a little bit of, um, little bit of, bit of more of a creamy texture. Right. And then you let it stand for three minutes and then you have cake in a cup. Okay. Oh so goodness. really amazing right um you can throw some more some peanuts on top but we have rouse's peanuts and if you wanted some uh, chocolate you can have some uh, rouse's chocolate as well now let's go ahead and i'm also wanted to mention i am using the rouse's peanut butter too sure. the next thing we're going to make is that dipping sauce for our sweet potatoes okay. so i love sweet potato uh, french fries and okay. i love that this is kind of like a savory recipe but okay. it's also involving the peanut butter. So it just shows you the versatility of the peanut butter. So I'm just gonna get my mixing bowl out right here, Keith, and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna put in it, okay? okay? So of course, I'm gonna add in the peanut butter, which right. I have two tablespoons of peanut butter. I'm just gonna throw that in here. This is gonna be a little dipping sauce that we're gonna make, okay. or you could use it as a dressing on top. Right. I'm gonna add in some uh, Rouse's apple cider vinegar. 
Okay. I'm going to add in a fourth of a teaspoon of chili flakes. So I'm adding a little bit of spice in there. I'm going to add one tablespoon of Rouse's maple syrup. Okay. Something sweet. And yeah. And then also one tablespoon of oil okay. and then a little bit of green onion. How about okay. that? Ooh, okay. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So nice savory flavors. And then if, it, if it's too thick, you can always add a little water to it to right. thin it out. But this actually is a great consistency. Mm -hmm. And you can see the peanut butter actually makes most of the dressing. So it's really the highlight of the dressing. And then I have some sweet potato French fries right here. Mm. What I did was I put them in my air fryer and I fried them up and mm. um, they're nice and ready to go. And then I'm going to just going to put my dipping sauce right next to it. You can make that in a jiffy and then you have this really great. And then I put a little cilantro on top of my sweet potato fries, but you have this really nice little dipping sauce to go along with your sweet potatoes that has the peanut butter flavor, but it also has a little kick from the chili, chili flakes and just a nice combination to really go together and just kind of show how versatile that peanut butter is. And of course, I mean, our fan favorite at my house is we love to just make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, Absolutely. of course, right? <laughs> With lots of different options. Rouse's has so many different options for jams and jellies uh, in that yeah. aisle. So you can find all that. What a great, quick idea. Very healthy. Uh, and you can use it as a dressing or a dipping sauce. Wonderful ideas. You've made me rethink peanut butter. So this is wonderful. <laughs> April, thank you so very much. Everything. Exactly. That's exactly right. Thanks yeah. so much for having us today. We appreciate it. Yes. Thank you so much, Keith. All right. And that will do it for this particular segment of Eat Right with Rouse's. Don't go anywhere. A lot more local programming right here on HTV.